Hi, Tech128 here. In my earlier videos, I showed you how I connected my MacBook Pro to an external display or monitor. Now, here on my desk, I have these two Apple adapters that I showed you. I showed you the mini display port to VGA adapter and the mini display port to DVI adapter. And you can use these adapters to connect your MacBook Pro to an external monitor using the cable that's usually already attached to that monitor. Now, I have the MacBook Pro 15. This is a Retina model from mid-2015. And this computer has two Thunderbolt 2 ports that use the mini display port connector. Now, these adapters are nice for traveling or for use in a conference room or in a meeting, but I don't think they're the best option for using on your desktop. And there's a few reasons for that. So first, many people try and use these on their desk, but then also need to use them when they leave their desk. So they remove the adapter from the cable on their desktop, and sometimes they forget them, that they're not in their bag, so they don't have them when they need them, or you forget to bring it back to your desk or you lose it, then when you get back to your desk, you cannot hook up your Mac to the monitor. And at $30 a piece, they're very expensive. So most people don't want to buy two of them, one for their bag and then one to use permanently on their desk. Now, the other thing that I think is not that great about them is that these cables are about maybe two inches long and then you have this big dongle piece hanging off. And then you'll see that the DVI cable here has this big plastic piece and then followed by a relatively thick cable. And it's the same for the VGA cable. So you have about a two inch piece of cable, then this big fat plastic connector, uh, another long plastic connector, and then another thick cable with this bead on there. So when you want to use your MacBook Pro on your desk, you have all this extra crap hanging about two inches off of your MacBook Pro. So I don't think that's really convenient. So I'm going to recommend some other options. Now, the option that I like is you want to check out a company called Monoprice, and I'll put links in the description below. Monoprice makes cables that will directly connect to your monitors. These are mini display port cables. They have a mini display port connector on one end and then the connector that will go into your monitor on the other. So I have three different cables here. This cable is a mini display port to DVI. This cable is a, a mini display port to display port and we'll talk about that in a second and then finally this cable is a mini display port to VGA now uh, one of the great things about monoprice is that they sell quality products and they have a low price so if you remember I said this Apple mini display port to DVI adapter was $30 I picked up this mini display port to DVI cable. Now this is a six foot cable. And if I look at the invoice here, the mini display port to DVI cable, I paid $9.19 for that cable. So $9.19 for a cable that doesn't need to use an adapter. I pl plug one end into the monitor and then I have just a nice thin mini display port connector on this end and that's nine dollars and nineteen cents versus thirty dollars so this is definitely a better option for use on your desktop now I have a couple other cables here I have the mini display port to VGA cable if we look back over here that one was a little bit more expensive that was fifteen dollars but again just over half of the price of the mini display port to VGA adapter. Now that cable is also a six foot cable. And then finally, I have this last cable here. This is a 
mini display port to display port cable and we haven't talked about that type of connector yet but we will in a minute all right now all these cables one end will plug into your mac into the mini display port thunderbolt 2 port on the side and then the other end will plug into the back of your display or monitor now you do need to take a look at the back of your monitor and understand what kind of ports you have on there and then you'll see what kind of options you have for connecting to your monitor not every monitor has the same type of port but let's take a quick look at the ports on the back of these monitors alright so I took the stand off of the U2412 and flipped it on its side so that we could take a look at the ports so there are three input ports this is the display port then there's the DVI port and the VGA port now you can use any of these ports for connecting to your Mac now the monitor usually has a setting to auto detect which input port is being used and select that or you can directly select it from the controls on the monitor it's these three ports that you can use for the display all right now give me a second and I'll show you what the other monitor looks like all right this is the Dell 2408 monitor and this one has a tremendous amount of ports on the back all right so if we start by looking here we have a display port input port followed by an HDMI port we haven't talked about that yet then it has two DVI ports so not just one but two different DVI-D inputs and then a VGA input and then it even has some other inputs for older TVs it has a composite video in an S video in or a component video in now we're not going to use these to connect to a monitor but these could be used to connect to some kind of video game or some older equipment there are a number of different options here for connecting to a display the display port one HDMI two two different DVI's so that's four followed by the VGA so there are five different ports you could use to connect this to your MacBook Pro alright so give me a second and I'm gonna attach the cables I think just to this monitor here so that I could show you how it works all right this is the mini display port to DVI cable now this is a six foot cable so let's get this out of the bag all right so this is a six foot cable now uh, they come wrapped in this cellophane or plastic here we need to take that off all right they have these little plastic caps on the end which you just need to remove you don't need to save them all right that one just slid right off here then there's a plastic cap all right there's two wire ties on here so you need to remove the wire ties all right so a couple things that I like about these cables one is the price they're very inexpensive so monoprice is really good at having high quality inexpensive equipment uh, I have links in the description below and in the article on tech128.com now the second thing I like about these is that it's a relatively thin wire now the other thing I like about these cables is they come in different lengths so this is a six foot cable so you just need to figure out how long a cable you need and then buy the appropriate length now they also have like three foot cables and longer cables generally I recommend just get the shortest cable that will reach for you now if you get a cable that's too short you'll not be able to position your MacBook where you want it you'll be trying to rearrange things on your desk remember those at least on my MacBook Pro those mini display ports are on the left hand side of the computer so you want to take that into account to where you're putting your monitor and then where you want to put your computer while you're using it now I have these two other cables here this is the display port to mini display port alright so I got that end off got the cap off all in one piece alright same thing over here 
Okay, so when you buy cables like this, there's a few things that I recommend. One, make sure you get the right connectors. Two, make sure you buy the right length. Three, you want to keep the cost in mind. You want to look for a high quality, low cost cable. Four, take a look at the thickness of the cable. I try and buy the thinnest cables possible because I think they're more flexible and they're not so rigid. And then finally, uh, the color. Now, Monoprice has a lot of different cables that come in different colors. These cables, they only sell in white, and I think they do that to match the color of Apple cables. Let me get this wire tie off here. All right, now the last cable, this is the mini display port to VGA cable. And I think this one was the most expensive, uh, mainly because it has to do this VGA. And I'll get that out of the bag. Had to get a little tough with it. All right, that off. Cap off. This end off. Plastic cap off. So VGA to mini display port. All right, I got that off. All right, now all three of these cables are ready to go. Take them over to the monitor. All right, now when you plug these cables in, you need to plug them in the right way. So you have to make sure that you have them lined up correctly. Now the other thing I noticed with this Dell monitor is that when it's on the stand, it's very difficult to get access to the display port, especially when you have the power cable plugged in there. The uh, stand is kind of in the way, and if you have any other cable plugged in there, uh, it can be difficult to reach. All right, I'm going to start with the display port cable. Now you need to orient it the right way. Now this cable will lock when you plug it in, and this mechanism here, this little clip, is to release it so that you can pull it out. You'll see that these two input ports have little screw holes to screw down the cable so that it's locked in. But this one has a locking mechanism built in. And then you'll see that it's shaped like, a, I don't know, maybe like a D or something like that. And you just need to make sure that you line it up with the port correctly. And again, for me and this monitor, this piece needs to go on the outside. So I'm going to plug that in. All right, now if I tug on that, you'll see that's locked in. Locked in. All right, next, I'm going to hook up the DVI cable. Get that lined up the right way. Plug that in. And then the VGA cable. Now again, you don't need all three of these cables to all three of these inputs to use it with your Mac. I'm just hooking them up so that I can show you the three different options on one monitor. All right, now I think we are set. I am just going to try one last thing. I have a second one of these mini display port cables. So I'm gonna plug it into this Dell 2408. Make sure I align that the right way. All right, that's plugged in there. All right, now give me a second. I'm going to get the stands back on, get these things standing upright, and then we'll try it on the Mac. All right, so I have the monitors flipped up, the cables plugged in. I have my MacBook Pro here, and then I have the three mini DisplayPort uh, cables here. Now, I didn't label them, so I don't know which one is which, but pick one. At least you're only going to have one. I'll pick one. And... Make sure you figure out which is the top and the bottom. All right, it looks like the end with the little dimple on it is the bottom. Uh, these cables aren't marked on the top. You might want to put a little dot on there. It might help out. And plug it into the Thunderbolt 2 mini display port on your Mac. Now don't force it in if it doesn't go in smoothly. All right, so there's the display. I'm not sure which one this was. Now, uh, we'll try the next one. All right, again, so it looks like it's dimple side down there. Plug that in. All right, so this is the DVI-D. You can see that it says DVI-D. And then finally, the last one, 
again the little dimple side down plug it into the display port the mini display port back up to the monitor and that was VGA so the first one must have been the display port so you'll see that all three of these different cables work now again you're only going to need one you don't need them all now if you had a pick I'd say display port is the best one so if your monitor supports display port you might want to get the cable for that now on some monitors uh, if you have display port and you have built-in speakers the audio will also be sent to the monitor as well now it doesn't work on all monitors but on some it should so now here's the difference all right let's uh, show you the difference here I'll move these extra cables out of the way so this is what it looks like now compared to this compared to having this ugly plastic blob there now that's the mini display port to VGA adapter or this ugly mini display port to DVI adapter here you have this one cable and the most expensive one was the mini display port to VGA which was about fifteen dollars so the most expensive cable was half half the cost of one of these Apple adapters so let's take a look at those prices again okay so the mini display port cable was the mini display port to DVI cable was nine dollars and nineteen cents the mini display port to VGA was fifteen seventy one and the mini display port to display port cable was four dollars and sixty eight cents four dollars and sixty eight cents and it looks like I even had a discount on this order so a lot of times monoprice runs sales so definitely pretty awesome company to check out I'll have links in the description below and in the article on tech128.com so definitely want to check that out all right well I hope this was helpful and uh, I'll see you next time please remember to like subscribe and share thanks for watching